Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, this is Pastor Dow. Uh, I had a letter, text message, um, as well, sent to me um, by what I call a psychological disorder. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. One thing's for sure, I know I'm not wrong concerning the cosmos of things. You know, I, I am a Bible believer. Now, if, if you don't believe the scripture, this video is not for you. Okay? Uh, you, you can save yourself a lot of time and just go ahead and, and, and click off this video and go somewhere else. But, um, we're having a very difficult time. Uh, in this world and it's becoming even more difficult and the reason why it's becoming more difficult is because everything is literally turned upside down um, truth is perishing in the land truth is as a society we have been so programmed to believe lies and we have repackaged and re presented Everything uh, that used to be truth is now become a lie. Uh, we, we have a situation now where women, um, with all of the equality that they want to have today, um, are literally being deceived to respond and react right out of their place. What do you mean place? Well, a woman is a woman, is she not? Now, when I speak, I speak from the Hebrew culture, the true Hebrew culture of the displaced people who have been scattered all across this world, Israelites. And um, what's happening in churches today, what's happening in your homes today, is a product of the feminist movement. And make no make no apologies about this uh, anytime you see a woman rise up in utter rebellion utter utter rebellion against her husband against a man um, you're looking at a woman that is influenced by demonic spirits whether you believe them or not you know they uh, use terms uh, today and, of course, one of those terms is called subjugate or to be subjugated. You know, they they, they um, feel like that they don't want to be, look at what they say, under the control or under the domination, uh, especially by conquest. And, of course, who is placing women under control and under domination by male conquest today? That seems like something of ancient yesterday years, don't it? But because you have men making the same mistake as it was in the garden, this is the type of product that's being produced today. You know, I I just happen to believe that any time a, a, a woman, especially if she is a wife, she can't submit to her husband, and she can't obey her husband, and she tries to bypass her husband, say, oh, God, God, God. Some of you going to have a rude awakening. Many of you women are going to have a rude awakening when you find out that the creator universe is not the way you thought that he was. When he clearly tells you, um, wives, submit yourselves. That means obey your own husbands. And you do that the same way you would Jesus Christ. Then in comes the twisting, in comes the warping, in comes the distorting. No, in other words, if you want to know how much your or what level of obedience you are, submit to your own husband. You'll know if you really truly are serving the Most High based on how you serve your husband. Now I'm talking about a good Yah fearing man, you know, like myself. Now, Jezebel spirits, women with Jezebel and feminists went, oh, boy, they can't stand me. Mm -mm -mm. You see, usually men...
who are emasculated, eviscerated, and castrated, they run away uh, from a loud mouth, boisterous, overbearing, obnoxious, mistress mouth woman. Some of them have gotten so emasculated and so eviscerated that they have literally lost all the fight out of their heart. And they just submit straight totally to women, just submit to them. It's amazing how I'm, I have all these charges levied against me by people who don't even know me. But when you watch the people that live around me, the people who associate with me, they have a total different perspective and point of view than you do. I often said it. I said, you know, I'll take our sisters and put them up against any women in the world. They will literally put them all to shame. They're very educated. They're very sound and sober in mind. And what they know who they are. They truly do. And they love their husbands and they love their children. Um, meaning that they obey their husbands. They, they understand their role. But this feminist movement that, that many of you women embrace, which is going to lead you into being a lesbian, um, it, it, it has murder in it. Because it's the same thing that stem when Eve went and talked to the serpent and then gave the fruit to Adam. It's the same thing that's going on today. And Eve is rising again. And the reason why feminists don't like me because um, I have an unction and a spirit inside of me. I'm not running from no woman any way, shape, fashion, or form. You know, I don't think I can really get you to understand what I'm trying to say in this video until you hear this. Uh, let me tell you something. Let me roll this for a second. Listen to this. We need to kill all men. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just, in the future, subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill him. Because um, we want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human race going is with just women. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. Oh, I tell you, that's the model woman today, isn't it? Isn't that what a lot of you women want to be like today? Don't, look at that. I mean, there is your model right there. Whoo wee And that is the American woman today. She just wearing it on her. She just telling you straight out what's in her heart. Most of you try to hide it, but there go your poster child for the feminist movement today. You hear that? The idea is, is they want to kill all males. Now, watch this. If I turn around and say something like that, they would have the TBI, the FBI, right here at my front door, want to give me an interview right then and there. But she can say that and get away with it. Really? Legend of so-called freedom of speech. Sisters, women, if you don't change your attitude and your behavior, according to what these scriptures say right here, that's what you're going to end up like. And hell is going to be your home for all of eternity.